Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video guys. This is Sampath, you are watching Sampath Sampath's YouTube channel and this is the POCO X3 Pro. I have 6GB 128GB version. We have got an update, you can see here, MIUI 13.0.1.0. It's stable users for everyone. It's public rollout. I am not a beta user. You can see here updated android security patch to february 2022 and increased system security stable may be based on android 12 which is pretty good as you can see android version is 12 let me dial it as you can see this of the android 12 is trigger logo whatever you call i have screenshots it was around 3.1 gb you can see here it took around 12 minutes for me not more than that i have 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection as you can see it says same thing at 10 54 pm yesterday i got the update just finished it and i have installed some of the benchmark results also if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and uh, in this video, we are going to see what all the benchmark results and even the BGMA gameplay both in Sanok and TDM both will be explained and everything will be explained, features, bugs, everything will be explained. Stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video. Let's start with under 12 features first, later Mio 13 I will say it's not a new here in compared to Mio 12.5 it's just latest build i mean initial build i can say but under 12 features like if you open the camera you will get here camera axis and if you dial the dialer let me show as you can see here mic axis should come that you need to keep in mind it is sort of bug or what do comment on in the comment section below that's how the bug or what I, I don't know but camera axis is working fine as you can see whenever you open camera like that then you will get those features that's there and this is the google pill just swipe here you can use one handed mode this is under 12 feature it's working fine and if you again do it you will release it then you go back to full screen if you want you can use that one handed mode and one more settings into the additional settings go to accessibility and turn on accessibility menu it's also an under 12 feature just allow it out okay you get this kind of yellow button here without using this volume buttons you can use the this handy feature i mean the toggle you can increase or decrease the volume from here as you can see directly it will use this volume panel if you want you can use the traditional button but this is a handy feature and you can go to recent power everything will be easy in my opinion if you use this option this all the android 12 features available as of now for poco x3 pro with mio 13.0.1 this is the initial build i can say as you can see left side if you want you can keep google now cards but i am using this app vault it should need an update i waited for a day now it haven't got any update for certain apps i got gallery update and one more app updated apart from that there are no app updates for poco x Pro. i mean system app updates that's really important even security is also old type of security app you get as you can see game turbo is also old type. everything is not new mio 13 takes a little bit of time i mean the other features like some of the inbuilt features like liquid memory what they will call in Mio 12.5 and also Mio 13 whenever i save any photo in snapseed snapseed or wherever you edit the photo i want to take it in pixel lab for example just an example i am saying it won't be booted in file manager i need to manually go to file manager and load that but after this Mio 13 update i can clearly say whenever you would save any file in snapseed or wherever it directly stored in file manager no need to worry that i really think this is a major update for poco x repo it loads everything which is in the file manager that's fine and coming to app openings here also you can see here let me open camera as you can see it's fine enough and not just the talented benchmark results it's also first even i will show you with bgma gameplay also as you can see the android benchmark results are fine enough i lack 38469 
with temperature raise is 6.3 degrees Celsius and 3% of battery drop has been noticed during this testing of Android benchmark after Mio 13 update with Android 12 for POCO X3. Not just that, Geekbench scores also let me show you as you can see. This was like 24th March. Both are run yesterday and now. The multi score is a little bit better compared to yesterday. 2377 and 702 is the single score. And the kernel used here is Linux 4.14.180. This is very good kernel in terms of battery life. I will show you the battery life also. Before that, let's see the CPU throttle test with live. Let me run this for 5 minutes. I will run it out. You can see here this is how the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes 39 minutes after this Mio 13 update on this POCO X CPU with Android 12 and maximum is 162 and average is 121 and minimum is 78. I use POCO X32 and also Redmi Note 7 Pro. I run lots of custom ROMs on this smartphone. I never seen like this performance but this is just an app performance. Let's see BGMA gameplay also later then we will understand in detail and you can see here the maximum is 162 and the average is 121 and minimum is 78 and it's throttled to 70 percent of its maximum performance which is really bad comparing to previous updates i never seen like this before just under the benchmark is running in the background or what i don't know but this is how the performance it is throttling a bit compared to previous update that you need to keep in mind according to this cpu throttling test results not just that and also the brightness is also a little bit as you can say I kept to almost maximum I disabled auto brightness sensor also it's not that bright enough compared to previous update if you are also feeling the same do comment down in the comment section below and regarding Mio 13 features forget about that you won't get any Mio 13 features and this is the dark theme you can see how it looks and into special features you just get slide bar sorry sidebar this is how tab plus or sidebar you can use any app it's nothing but the video toolbox little bit revamped or enhanced and floating windows and the second space that's present and all the special features sorry additional settings a quick ball everything are working fine and gesture shortcuts are also given if you want you can use that it's present previously also as you can see three finger screenshot everything is working fine enough in my opinion that's how the two complaints is like the mic axis where i need to enable i don't know and the second thing is the throttling here in poco x3 pro third thing is like mio 13 features nothing has been added as you can see the quick settings panel is also same old mio 12.5 type everything is same enough nothing new here and coming to battery life let me show you as you can see the battery settings are also as same as 12.5 enhanced edition only you can see here screen on time is around one hour five minutes i kept to around 90 94 percent you can see in the screenshot where i shown it's fine enough definitely the battery life is quite a bit improved but the performance degrade i don't digest it why they did that i don't know and in camera application also nothing new here and i tried to download this vlog it continuously keep downloading and shows error i don't know why it's happening that too i noticed these are the bugs i noticed in this mio 13 android 12 update and let's see the bgma and wind out the video and also do comment on guys what are the problems you're facing after mio 13 update have you received the update or not or are you interested to update this update do comment down in the comment section below and let's see the bgma gameplay and regarding the bgma settings you get all the basic things like which was present before the, those settings are still available as you can see up to hdr extreme is available ultra hd options are available ultra hd and there is an option of smooth plus 90 fps directly they haven't given but you can enable through file transfer method or even you can use jfx tool to enable 90 fps and in custom roms you can do plenty of the things i'll switch out little bit i will wait for few more updates on this poco x CPU. later i will switch out to custom roms only and let's see in the sanok boot camp let's show you how it handles and the volume is also not loud enough i don't know what happened to screen and volume it little bit degraded or reduced whatever i you call that's how it happened little bit 
the screen brightness and audio output has been decreased in this update that I can clearly notice I use this smartphone daily that's how I notice that as you can see I kept full but I can't hear the volume that's how the loudness and let's see anyone coming here no one are coming as of now someone around me enemy I have just shotgun okay I got a cam I got one person okay let's come on. oh I got it let's see the TDM and into the TDM and this is really bad guys after update they degraded our this uh, CPU throttling test and uh, gameplay is fine but performance what I can say is not that enough and screen brightness definitely a little bit uh, decreased compared to previous update or only I am seeing that different I don't know as you can see that CPU throttling comes into mind whenever you play more than hour like that if you want to play continuously then you will get problem like getting warm or unplayable laggy that will affect I don't know if you play for long time then only you can notice as of now it's fine as you can see I can easily kill the opponent I mean without lag killing opponent is a different thing with lag it's difficult Okay, I will come back here and I will show you the charging animation and the charging speeds are also fine enough not bad as you can see turbo charging is working fine charging speeds how they advertise in the launch event that's not the case but still it's fast enough like one and a half hour it will take from 0 to 100 percent less than that also sometime it depends upon your temperature room temperature also and uh, charging speeds are fine enough and battery life is definitely battery life is improved that's the only positive thing in this update and fingerprint unlock as you can see it's also cool enough not fastest but they haven't decreased anything like that but that's how it is and even the face unlock also working fine as you can see the camera axis is also working fine some of the under 12 features and mere 13 features need to be apps need to be get updated i will update it in my channel also with another new video with long term review or anything like that or whenever new update comes i will make a video on this poco x3 pro do comment down below guys how is this update for you if you are using from long time i am not a beta tester for this particular update i am using as a user like you and uh, that's all in this video if you like the video give it a like and uh, if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now